hi guys welcome to Joshua's tech tips so in my last video I showed you how to set up a cloud hosted Unify controller using Microsoft Azure on Ubuntu server 18.04 in this video I want to show you how to set up SSL encryption for your cloud hosted controller so for instance if I use the IP address the public IP to access my cloud hosted controller you're gonna see that there's currently no sort of SSL certification on my site so it's gonna show you my site is not secure also you notice I'm using my public IP to access this cloud hosted controller so at the, at the top there you're seeing it's not secured we want to fix that issue also we'll be addressing and showing you how to set up a domain name to access your cloud hosted controller so instead of using the public IP address it actually be mapping it to your domain name so you can access it that way so this website crosstalk solutions they actually have the steps that we'll be following to install let's encrypt SSL certification on our website right so uh, I also suggest that you subscribe to um, crosstalk solutions YouTube channel they have a lot of interesting stuff there as well right so generally SSL certification is pretty expensive right but let's encrypt offers us a free solution to install SSL certification our, on our website so to begin we're gonna go to Azure select our VM and go to the networking tab we need to open up two ports here right so the two ports we'll be opening is port 80 and port 443 so what it's actually going to do in the background is that it's going to spin up a little web server and validate with let's encrypt that we are who we say we are and we're not trying to hack the website or anything like that so port 80 has been added successfully so now let's add 443 So now that the two ports have been created successfully, what I want to do is head over to the site that manages my domain name. In this case, um, I have my domain with GoDaddy. So this is a domain that I use for my Joshua's Tech Tips YouTube channel, right? And what I need to do in the um, DNS manager is actually add an A record. So I'm gonna add a type as A and I'm gonna point this to I'm gonna create a name I'm just gonna name it unify controller you can name it whatever you like and this points to my public IP that the VM is using right so that to get that information I'm gonna head over back to Azure I'm gonna to go to overview and I'm gonna copy my public IP address right and I'm gonna paste it here I'm just gonna click on save so now that the DNS entry has been created, we should be able to access this using our domain name. So we're gonna enter unifycontroller.joshuastechtips.com port 8443. And there we have it. We see that it's actually resolving, right? It's still not secure because we haven't added the SSL encryption as, as yet, but it is resolving to my domain name. Right, so if I click proceed I should be prompted and here you see I'm prompted for my login right so that's part one is finished so now to work on this not secure part so we're gonna head back over to Azure and we need to connect to our controller and SSH into it so to do that I'm just gonna launch the terminal All right so I'm gonna connect via SSH enter my password so now that I've SSH into my control I'm gonna head back over to crosstalk solution website and follow the steps so firstly we need to allow port 80 and port 443 so I'm just gonna copy the code paste Right, and copy again and paste 
Moving on to the next step, we're going to actually install Let's Encrypt now. So again, we're going to copy the script. We're going to paste. And we're going to click enter again. Select Y, hit enter. So it's finished installing Let's Encrypt. So let's move on to the next step. So next we're going to actually generate the certificate. So we're going to copy the code and paste. Right, so now it's prompting us. So we're going to select option 1 because we're going to temporarily spin up a web server to authenticate. This is the reason we allowed port 80 and 443 at the beginning of the video. So we need to enter a valid email address to be notified in case of any changes. So I'm going to enter my email address. So we're going to select A to agree to the terms. Right? Would you be willing to share your email? Of course, we're going to select Y for yes. And please enter your domain name. So we're going to enter our domain name would be unifycontroller.joshuastechtips.com. Right? And you'll enter whatever your domain name is here. And there we have it. It says, congratulations, your certificate and chain has been saved. So we have just been issued a publicly routable certificate. So now what we need to do is we need to actually apply this. So this next step here will allow us to download the script to help automate this part of the process for us. So we're going to actually copy this script. And we're going to paste it. And select enter all right and moving on to the next step what we actually gonna do here this is gonna allow us to enter the script that we previously downloaded so we're gonna copy this and paste like enter so we'll be doing some editing here so we're gonna scroll down all right and first things first we see the unify host name all right so we're gonna edit that and change it to what our host name is all right so we're just gonna backspace and delete this all right and we're gonna enter our host name which is unifycontroller.joshuastechtips.com Right, so moving on to the next step, it says to uncomment the following three lines for Fedora, Red Hat, and CentOS. So we are using Ubuntu Server, so we actually want to comment these lines out. Right, so as we can see, these are the three lines they're referring to. So they are already uncommented. So what we want to do is we want to comment them out since they are not relevant for our example. Because remember this Unify controller, we have it hosted using um, it's built on Ubuntu server so we're gonna comment out those three lines as they are not applicable to our example moving on for the next step it says for Ubuntu and Debian we got to uncomment these lines All right so these are the three lines here so they're currently commented out so we need to uncomment these lines since we are using uh, Ubuntu server to run this application. Right next up it says enable let's encrypt mode. Right so we're gonna look for that line of code. Scroll down and here we have it. Let's encrypt mode it's currently set to no. So we're gonna change that to yes. Next, we want to save our changes, so we do this by pressing 
control X followed by Y. Right? So I'm gonna hold down control X. Ask if you wanna save your modified changes, select Y and enter. Right, so our changes have been saved and finally last but not least we're gonna actually run the script so I'm gonna copy and paste so this is actually gonna stop and restart our unify controller and apply the certificate to our unified instance right so it says done so our certificate should have been successfully installed. So let's test it out. So I'm going to enter my domain name, which is unifycontroller.joshuastechtips.com. And congratulations, as you can see there, we are seeing the padlock sign there. That would indicate that our site is secured. The certificate has been successfully installed. So the thing about Let's Encrypt, because it's a free SSL service, you're required to um, renew the certificate every three months, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run this last piece of code that will actually auto renew the certificate every three months for us, right? So we're gonna copy, paste, enter. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom, press enter, right? Go up and then paste this piece of code right inside there all right so i'm going to copy that and paste it here all right and we need to save these changes so just as we did before we're going to hit Control x and y to save these changes and that's it you have just set up a free ssl certificate solution on your unified cloud hosted controller Thanks again for viewing this video guys. If you like the content I've been sharing, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released. So now that we have our cloud hosted controller set up and secured, in my next video I'm going to show you how to adopt devices into your cloud hosted controller. So that's not something you're going to want to miss. Thanks again for viewing. Take care.